हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू सो आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट फेयर एंड फाइन सर इंजॉइंग स्टडीज यस सर ओके सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद आर डिस्कशन ऑन मटेरियल कॉस्टिंग एंड द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर इज अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल टॉपिक दैट इज इन्वेंट्री टर्न ओवर रेशियो अ वेरी स्मॉल टॉपिक सर राइट लेट्स सी वॉट इज इन्वेंट्री टर्न ओवर रेशियो अ वेरी इजी टॉपिक फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इफ आई से only 40 50 percent chance of being asked in the examination right but yes theory part it can be asked in the theory okay so more relevant from the theoretical point of view more relevant from theory point of view okay what is inventory turnover ratio itr it is also known as itr right not income tax return it is inventory turnover ratio itr is a ratio that shows as to how many times during the period say a year the inventory held got converted into consumption in case of raw material or cost or goods sold in case of finished goods that means in a year how many times how many times in a year we are converting our raw material into finished goods and are we are converting our finished good into sales right so this is the simple meaning of inventory turnover right we are turning our inventory we are turning our raw material into finished goods and we are turning our finished goods into sales how many times in a year that is shown by the inventory turnover ratio higher the itr the faster the movement of inventory from store or warehouse lower the itr lower is the movement of inventory sir very simple logic uh, sorry higher the itr means the item is quite fast moving you are uh, quickly converting your raw material into finished goods and finished goods into sales lower the itr lower the itr means these are slow moving items you take much longer time to convert your raw material into finished goods and finished goods into sales right so these are the two formulas itr for raw material is to be calculated as raw material consumed how much of the raw material we have consumed in making finished good divided by on an average how much of the raw material we are holding this shows the number of times we are converting this average stock of raw material into finished goods we are converting it into consumption so what is the raw material consumed divided by the average stock of raw material and itr for finished goods is average stock of finished goods and how many time this average stock is getting converted into sales for that we take cost of goods so sold right for the number of units that we have sold we have to take the cost not the profit part we have to take the cost part right clear some related formulas for itr it says the raw material consume how to calculate this raw material consume very simple sir what is the opening stock plus raw material purchased minus the closing stock of rm sir very simple uh, you have been learning trading account sir trading account yes sir remember the trading account here we take opening stock correct sir here we take purchases correct sir right here we take sales correct sir and here we take closing stock right i can say sales or consumption in case of raw material now if you want to find out this figure how will you find out this figure you have the opening stock you will add purchases to it and you will subtract the closing stock from it right the remaining figure you will get is consumption this is what it is the raw material consumed opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock right cost of goods sold this is in case of finished goods now now cost of goods sold can be for the trader and for the manufacturer if it is for the trader you have to calculate as opening stock plus purchases plus any direct expenses again come to this point here we add the direct expenses also direct expenses are also taken in the trading account right plus direct expenses minus closing stock you will get the cost of goods sold for the manufacturer opening stock of finished goods plus the current year cost of goods produced whatever goods it has produced the current year cost of that minus the closing stock will give you 
द कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड्स विच हैव बिन सोल्ड ड्यूरिंग द करंट ईयर राइट ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस करंट ईयर प्रोडक्शन माइनस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल गिव यू द सेल्स वैल्यू राइट द कॉस्ट ऑफ द गुड्स सोल्ड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर वट इज एवरेज स्टॉक सर वेरी सिंपल ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक डिवाइडेड बाय टू नथिंग मच इन इट राइट सो दिस इज अबाउट वन इन्वेंट्री होल्डिंग पीरियड इट इज द एवरेज पीरियड फॉर विच द इन्वेंट्री इज हेल्ड इन स्टोर और गटाउन राइट फॉर ऑन एन एवरेज हाउ मेनी डेज यू आर होल्डिंग द इन्वेंट्री इन योर स्टोर फॉर द रॉ मटीरियल इन योर गटाउन फॉर द फिनिश्ड गुड्स सो Inventory holding period is 360 days or 12 months divided by the inventory turnover ratio. How many times you are converting it? Clear? So this is your inventory holding period for how many days you are holding it. You are holding your inventory. You are storing your inventory. 360 days or 12 months. See, uh, just remember one thing in the examination regarding this 360 days or the 12 months. If the question says here, uh, let's say about the days. If the question says you have to take three sixty five days in a year, right? If the question says you have to take three sixty five days in a year, then you have to take three sixty five here, not three sixty, right? So you need to be careful with this thing. Otherwise, you may lose out on the marks. If the question doesn't specify anything that you can take three sixty also, you can take three sixty five also. No issues in that, but if the question is specifying the number of days or months, months will be twelve always. It is about the days. If the question is specifically uh, saying that you have to take three sixty or three sixty five days, you have to take as per the question then, right? So this is the inventory holding period, right, sir? Done, sir. So this is all about the inventory turnover ratio. We have two practical problems. Let's see. Question number fifteen. The following data is available in respect of material X for the year ending 31st of March 1997. Opening stock is given 90,000. Purchases during the year is 2,70,000. Closing uh, stock is 1,10,000. You are required to calculate the inventory turnover ratio and the number of days for which the average inventory is held. Very simple, sir. Very simple. Okay. Let's do it. Question number. Fifteen. So first, you need to calculate the ITR. First, you need to calculate the inventory. Okay, I'll write ITR only. Uh, first, you have to calculate ITR, right? What is ITR? ITR is raw material consumed. Raw material consumed divided by average. stock average stock of raw material now you have to calculate these two figures first right so first you will be calculating first you will be calculating rm consumption rm consumed how you will calculate rm consumed sir very simple opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock Right, opening stock is given to us ninety thousand. Purchases two lakh seventy thousand and one lakh ten thousand as the closing stock. So ninety thousand plus two lakh seventy thousand. Right, minus one lakh ten thousand. Now this is how much two lakh fifty thousand. Now second thing that you have to uh, calculate is the average stock of raw material. Average stock of raw material average stock of raw material is sir very simple opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 right opening stock is 90000 plus closing stock is 110000 divided by 2 that means 2 lakh divided by 2 this comes out to 1 lakh any doubts any doubt sir right so we can calculate the itr easily now what will be the itr itr in this case will be now what is the raw material consumed that is 2 lakh 50000 divided by what is the average stock 1 lakh so the itr is going to be 2.5 right this is what the question required to calculate second the number of days for which the average inventory is held that means the inventory holding period you have to calculate 
so the second part that you have to calculate is inventory holding period that is 360 days or uh, we can take 365 days also i'll take 365 days divided by itr right so it is 365 divided by 2.5 this comes to 146 days. You can take uh, 360 also, no issues. Clear? 146 days. So the second requirement is also done. Clear? Sir, for how many marks this question can be asked? If asked in the examination, max to max 5 marks, sir. If it has to be a very, very easy paper, 5 marks question can be asked. Clear? Next question, question number 16. Question number 16. Calculate the material turnover ratio for the year 1999 from the following detail. Okay, sir. Material X, material Y, opening stock, closing stock, and purchases determine the fast moving material. It says determine the fast moving material, sir. ITR. We have to calculate the ITR and from the ITR, we can determine which is the fast moving material, right? How we can determine the fast moving material, sir? Material having the higher ITR will be fast moving. Write it down. Material having higher ITR will be a fast moving material will be a fast moving material right any doubts clear sir okay so we have to calculate the itr sir very simple for itr we have to calculate two things that is average inventory and raw material consumed Shall we start? <clears throat> okay, sir. Question number 16. First, we'll calculate for material X. First, we'll calculate for material X. Okay, for material X, we have to calculate first RM consumed. RM consumed. RM consumed is opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Right? Always remember this thing. Always remember this thing. From here, it will be absolutely clear that how to calculate the consumption or cost of goods sold. Right? So, what is the opening stock in case of material X? It is 25,000. Closing stock is 15,000 and purchases is 1 lakh. 90,000. So we can write it as 25,000 plus 1,90,000 minus closing stock of 15,000. That means we have the raw material consumption of 2 lakh rupees. Right? Second thing we have to calculate is average inventory. Average inventory. So what is average inventory is opening stock plus closing stock divided by 2 what is the opening stock here that is 25,000 plus 15,000 is the closing stock divided by 2 that comes to 20,000 right so with these two things we can calculate now the ITR ITR sorry ITR for material X that is raw material consumption 2 lakh divided by average inventory that is 20,000. So the ITR is 10 times. Any doubts in this? Clear? Okay, moving on. Material Y. Now we'll calculate for material Y also. For material Y, first we'll calculate RM consumed, RM consumption. RM consumption. So I'll take opening stock. What is opening stock in this case? 87,500 plus purchases that is 1,25,000 minus 62,500. Right. So 87,500 
प्लस वन लाख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड राइट सो दिस कम्स टू वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सेकेंड वी हैव टू टेक इज एवरेज रॉ मटीरियल एवरेज स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल दैट इज ओपनिंग एटी सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लस क्लोजिंग दैट इज सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो दिस विल कम टू सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड राइट नाउ द आई टी आर आई टी आर इट इज वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड दैट इज टू टाइम्स right now the question is asking determine the fast moving material that means we have to give this re, uh, this in the last we have to give the final answer that which is the fast moving material right so we'll say material x material x is fast moving is fast moving material because it has higher itr clear that means we converted material x into finished good 10 times whereas we converted material y into finished goods only two times so material x is fast moving and material y is slow moving material clear so with this we are done with question number 16 also now what we are left in the material costing is question number 17 and question number 18 that means we are left with just one topic in the next lecture we'll discuss about that topic that is valuation of valuation of closing inventory easy topic you will have some rough idea about it valuation of closing inventory very easy topic right and uh, very practical topic actually uh, practical topic i mean to say that we will have to do the practical problems on it to understand this topic right there is no logic or i can say lot of things to understand in this topic the only thing is to solve the questions two questions absolutely everything will be clear for you people right so see you guys in the next lecture till then stay safe stay healthy thank you so much